Hello everybody and welcome to the House of Builds. Today I'm going to show you solar tracking with logic chips after the new year update. So after the new update they added horizontal and vertical settings on the daylight sensor which makes the solar tracking a whole lot more simple. So on the solar panel you're going to want the data port facing sunrise and the power port facing sunset. On the daylight sensor you're going to want the data port facing north or 90 degrees clockwise of the power port on the solar panel. Then we're going to need two logic readers, two memories, two math, and two batch writers. On the logic reader for the horizontal, we're going to use the daylight sensor with the variable horizontal. Then we simply just go to the batch writer and we do logic reader horizontal to the solar panel and the solar panel's variable is horizontal. For the vertical, we're going to use daylight sensor with the variable vertical. Then we're going to have a memory set to 75 and another memory set to 1.5. Then we're going to have a math unit set to the logic memory 75, subtract the logic reader vertical. Then on the next math unit, we're going to want the last math that we did, that logic math subtraction. We're going to divide that by the memory 1.5. And then we go to the batch writer and use the logic math divide. The solar panel is the out and the variable is the vertical. This makes things a whole lot easier. Uh, you used to do a whole dance at noon. The solar panels would do a little spin 360. I have changed everything so it's 180 the other way and now it does that little spin at midnight when there is no sun. Hope that makes everything easier for everybody and uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.